Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are finally getting our very first Taskmasters Tuesdays. If you guys are unfamiliar, Taskmaster Tuesdays is an event that uh, History Guy Gaming, Stealth 17 Gaming, Brother Monroe, and Every Day's Different have been putting on for several weeks now where they come up with a challenge. Each of them tries to... Uh, defeat the challenge in their their own way we all they all post the videos on the same day which will be tuesday taskmaster tuesdays there you go uh it'll be at noon on tuesdays every week and they have been kind enough to let me in so we are going to uh try to complete the mission now uh for the mission we are usa versus russia 1940 tech the Secretary of the Navy has tasked us with developing a new all-purpose class of ships to pr form the backbone of the U.S. Pacific Fleet in the post-war period. We have been given $100 million each to develop a new class of vessels. It's up to you to choose how to split up your budget. You can build one ship for the full $100 million. You can build two ships for $50 million each, three ships for $33.3 .3, four for 25, five for 20, and so on and so forth. They must have a maximum range possible while also uh, being only one class gets gets built. So if you choose a battleship, you choose a battle cruiser, you know, so on and so forth. Um, now, our tests or our classes will be tested against the following Russian fleet and we get points for destroying ships as indicated. For the battleship, we get 20 points. For the battle cruiser, we get 8. For the cruiser, or, or the armored cruisers, we get the uh, we get 4 points for each of those. We have 2 points each for the light cruisers and 1 point each for the destroyers. For a combined maximum of 50 points if you sink everything. Uh, but we will be going up against 1 battleship, 1 battle cruiser, 2 cruiser armored, 4 light cruisers, and 6 DDs. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we've got our work cut out for us. But if we lose ships, it also counts against us. Uh, so if you lose a battleship, that's 40 points gone. Out of a maximum of 50, even if you sunk everything and you lost your battleship doing it, you only get 10 points. So, yeah, it's, it's a balancing act. You really got to pull it out. And I'm not going to lie, uh, and we're engaging at 15 kilometers base so, uh, yeah, the, the engagement starts at 15 kilometers. Now, the challenge of this doesn't seem like it would be so bad, right? You just go go ham. You got $100 million. Problem is, $100 million goes real quick. And on top of that, the enemy doesn't really have a budget because there's no way to limit the enemy's budget. So they basically get all the money in the world to build all of their ships, and they are the same tech level or equivalent to us who have a $100 million budget. So it's kind of like a te uh, tides have turned. It's kind of alternate history. Whereas the United States had all the money in the world to put up whatever they could, and Russia was kind of the one that had to sit back and have a budget, and they, they could only build at you know, certain rates. Uh, thus the reason why the USSR did not work out compared to the US. It's just they don't have the budget. Uh, so what have we done? Well, as you can see, we have uh, built our ship already. We've got 62,000 de uh, ton de displacement. Good God, I can't speak. Uh, we've got 21 and a half knots speed. We've got very long range, which is the maximum, as you can see. We've got maximum bulkheads because you're going to need them. We've got diesel two engines, oil fuel, forced boiler, uh, boilers. We've got auxiliary four engines, shaft three, Krupp four armor, Barbet 4 armor, anti-torp 5s, triple hull bottom, reinforced bulkheads, anti-flooding 3, which is the best you can get, and all-or-nothing armor scheme. Okay, we've got super heavy shells, we've got increased ammo capacity, we've got increased torp capacity, and we're only using Lidite 2. Lidite 2 gives you a bonus to HE shell damage and HE fire chance, so uh, that's kind of what we're going for, as you'll see in a moment. Uh, electro hydro turrets with auto reloading and we are using oxygen torp propulsion with 24 inch torpedo tubes which are 610 millimeters they pack a wallop 
The uh, rangefinder that we're using is the rangefinder SV. We're using Sonar Station 3. We don't have a radio, and we're using gen Generation 2 radar. Uh, I haven't touched anything really down here other than maybe a little bit of the deck extended to kind of get, get us close to that magical number. So let's look at the ship real quick. What do we got? Well, for main batteries, we've got 9-inch main battery triple turrets, two of them at the front. That's it. That's our main batteries. That's all we got. They're 9 inches, which for a battleship is very, very small. This is more like a super heavy cruiser. Kind of like the Alaska in that sense. But these are 9-inch guns instead of 12-inch guns. So they're not the biggest things in the world. But what they do very well is engage quickly at medium range, which is where we're at. So, uh, yeah, we, the uh, downside is we don't carry a whole lot of ammo, even with the extended ammo. We've only got 526 uh, rounds per gun here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, now, our secondaries, we've got 8-inch single barrels all the way through all of the casemates. So, both sides of this ship very heavily armed with 8-inch with secondaries to keep those destroyers at bay. Uh, and this is kind of why I went with the Dreadnought. Also because the Dreadnought is cheaper, so I was able to do more with it. And just look at the amount of torpedoes we got on this thing. We got four quintuple launchers in the back. That's 20 torpedoes. And we've got four down each side, which is 20 more torpedoes. So we've got 40 torpedoes that can launch off either side of the ship, give, an, give or take, where necessary. So, uh, yeah. It's a lot of torpedoes, and you can kind of get an idea of how our strategy is going to play out. So, without further ado, let's get this party started, shall we? Click to continue, and start. Now, technically, there are no limits as far as... Uh, time goes or at least i haven't seen a limit in the thing if there is i apologize but i didn't see a time limit so i'm just going to be trying to play it safe early and try to do everything that we can to uh, save ammo on everything right away uh, so we're going to go ahead and make a left hand turn try to keep a distance initially from the battleships I can't actually hear. It's frustrating. I know that you guys can, so I can deal with it. Uh, but the main thing that we got to deal here is uh, try to avoid getting obliterated. Now, we've already launched an absolute mess of torpedoes. So uh, we're going to turn out and try to avoid getting obliterated. Actually, we're, we're going to turn in. We're going to turn in and start to engage these destroyers. So, uh... Oops. Sorry. Let's go ahead and engage the uh, torpedo boat. He's only five kilometers away. Uh, let's go ahead and drop our cruise speed down. We've taken some nasty hits already, which is not preferable. I'm kind of getting sloppy right off the bat here. Uh, definitely not preferable. But once we get bow in, it's going to be difficult for them to get a lot of damage. And as you can see, we've already potentially killed their battleship, which is a huge, huge thing. So uh, if we can get rid of these destroyers early, that would be... Why do I not have... I've, I've turned my main batteries off. I'm an idiot. We need to save torpedoes though. So off on the torpedoes. There we got rid of them. We need to turn to avoid these torpedoes if at all possible. There we go. And as you can see, we are making very short work of all of these destroyers with our main batteries and secondaries. We are just absolutely running rampant through their team right now. He's gonna have trouble. Oh, we're gonna take some torps here, probably at least one. 
Yep, we took some torps. Oh dear god. That's a lot of torps. Good god! But again, take one torp. Try not to get obliterated. Oh my god, the amount of torpedoes is insane! As you can see, we we are definitely doing some damage to their team. But we're taking we took a lot of damage in return. These light cruisers have so many freaking torpedoes. We got to get rid of them as quick as possible. But we've already killed all of their destroyers in a very short amount of time. Got their uh, cruiser armored out of there. Trying to slow down to avoid these torpedoes, but apparently I should have just kept going at my normal speed. We're not actually. Yeah, actually, we we did fine. back on. Even though I don't think we really need to against the light cruiser, but, you know, sometimes you just got to throw it all at them. And that's going to be a very difficult wall of skill to dodge. I don't care how good you are. <laughs> yep. And any one of those is probably death. But a whole bunch of them and you're not long for this world. So we've already got him. We're gonna go ahead and target him next and turn back. Armored cruisers still got quite a bit of help. Now I'm not gonna lie, I did this challenge a lot early on, and I was really struggling to try to uh to complete this challenge. It was difficult. I've done so many different iterations of builds. Uh, I've tried everything that I could think of to make this work. Uh, and this was kind of my coup de tot, I think is, is that what you call it? The, uh, the best that I could come up with at the time. We go ahead and swap there. Our torpedoes should be getting loaded soon, and I'll be able to actually target him with my torpedoes, because he's really the biggest threat. And as soon as I launch torpedoes, then I'll switch targets back. It takes a long time to reload these quintuple launchers. Okay, 
these guys don't have torpedoes. It's good to know. Come on. Launch the torps against the guy. And... Torpedoes should be in the water. That's like one launcher. Maybe two launchers. Go ahead and launch torpedoes at the, the front ship here. You can see they're detecting torpedoes, something fierce. Light cruisers are difficult to uh, torpedo, in case you didn't know. We've got a pretty good chance to hit, but you can see these guys are all just like running away from us. At this range, we should be ripping them apart. Like they shouldn't have a chance. Yeah, we, we are just tearing them apart. Causing all the floodings. Fires, flooding, doesn't matter. He's not long for this world. You cannot get this close to a battleship and hope to live, let alone a battleship specifically designed for close quarters combat. Go ahead and turn back. Let the ship uh, decide which target to target first. Going for the closest target, no surprise there. We've got a 5.4% uh, accuracy bonus just from the uh, own cruise speed, which we can't even really maintain. We're only doing 8.3 knots right now, which is not perfect. You can see they just switched targets. Come on, battleship. We need you, buddy. Start landing shots, man. Put up a smoke screen. Come on. Just hang in there, battleship. We got this. We've done amazingly well. Even if this, this ending is kind of taken a bit. But from this range, it's hard to miss a freaking cruiser that's two kilometers away. Let's go. I think my gunners are all drunk. Or they're just in the water. That could be too. <laughs> all my guns are underwater. Struggling to get a firing angle. Percent accuracy for point blank. Oh, our main batteries are destroyed. Well, that explains it. destroyed they just they're confused they don't know what they're doing oh we, we 
launch torpedoes on him. Are we gonna hit? If we do, he's gonna have a bad day, but I don't think so. He's gonna sink though. He's down. We got another one. We're not out of this yet, but we're getting closer. God, there is no way he avoids that. He just got touched, I guarantee it. There's no way he can avoid all those torpedoes. How? How did he do it? How does he avoid all those torpedoes from that close? Like he just straight up anticipated he was getting ready to be hit with torpedoes, I think. That was amazing. What a dodge. Talk about torpedo beats. Dude just avoided certain death. Like that wasn't even a guess, like that was death. We got two more cruiser lights and one heavy cruiser left. Come on, baby. Go ahead and turn the torpedoes off so that we don't accidentally launch more at these light cruisers. Because if they're dodging them from that close, there's no way that I can kill them with torpedoes. So. Might as well save some rounds. We might be able to hit the heavy cruiser, possibly. But, uh, all depends. I mean, we're getting decent damage. We're not doing a lot of damage, but we are doing damage. And we're causing a lot of flooding, and the flooding is what ends up getting these guys. Is that I can just, I can punch so many holes in their ship from this close that they can't, they can't stop the flooding. They can't pump out enough water. And they're trying. You can see that they, they are trying to pump all the water out. But then we just cause more flooding and more flooding and more flooding until eventually there's just no choice. sinking. We got some flooding on him. That's going to slow him down and make him easier to hit. Says the guy that's literally like got no buoyancy left. He's only 34% afloat. <laughs> the right side of the ship is completely down in the water. But we don't go down without a fight. And as long as we can take these guys with us and stay alive, I think it's good. This is a decent challenge so I don't know how many people are going to be able to get the full 50 points and we're right there we, we have this you guys know I'm super super competitive but I will say this if there are a lot of oh that was a good hit let's uh switch over to this guy's point of view Try to keep these secondaries trained on them. Because the secondaries, I think, are doing most of the work. As you can see, they've caused 3,500 damage to us with 6,000 rounds fired and hit. We have caused 24,000 damage to them with 284. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. But you can see, most of it is from the, uh, the torpedoes early on. We caused a lot of damage with those torpedoes. Taking out their battleship early was key. Just mass massacred them with torpedoes. He just walked into a whole salvo. We've almost got rid of this guy. He's hurting. He's hurting real bad. Less than 15%. Is he going down? Yes, we just caused another flood. That's got to do it. He's get, There's no way. He, and another flood. So the, Once they get these guys to, to this point where they're so freaking flooded, like, they have an amazing anti-flood capability, but 
They get so heavy that then we land more hits. Now we'll go ahead and uh, launch our torpedoes. definitely need to try to get in there on this guy. Because I think it's going to be a little harder for us to cause so much flooding on him. Let's see what he's got first. The Archangel Mikhail. Ah, uh, let's see. He's got seven inch guns, so honestly, not really a threat. From guns, anyway. But he has a lot of torpedoes. And he still has a bunch, and he's already launched some recently. So, uh, yeah, we need to keep that in mind. We actually have torpedoes on the way, even though we can't really do anything to avoid them. Only thing I can think of maybe to avoid them is to just stop. heartbreaking to lose at this point. I didn't realize that that guy still had torpedoes. And here they come. I'm taking one at least. It's coming in hot. It's going to hit my belt though. So, not the worst. But the flooding is what hurts. I've already taken a lot of damage. All we gotta do is sink one more ship. Oh, come on, don't take another one. Especially not the nose. Ah, I got us. That was 100 damage there because it didn't hit our torpedo boat. Oh my god, how many torpedoes? This, this guy's cheating. He took my design. <laughs> Where, where are all these torpedoes coming from? It's one ship. I'm sure they thought the same thing. All right, there we go. Clearly, this has got to be the end of all of his torpedoes, right? Right? We've got 68 left. He's got 21. Oh, that was a good hit. We got some flooding on him. That'll slow him down. And like I said, it's a battle of attrition, death of a thousand cuts. All we got to do is slow them down. Once we slow them down, these guns will punch holes in you. It's just trying to get them to punch holes when you've got so much instability from all the damage you take. But as you can see, Mikhail is sitting low in the water. She's struggling, or he's struggling. I guess if, if it's Archangel Michael, then uh, he's struggling less than a third of the way afloat. Ah, uh, he's hovering right at the third. If we can get some more flooding, it would be great. Yep, we just got some more flooding. Come on, sink him. We got this, come on, battleship. Battleship Kearsarge, you're going to go down in history as the toughest thing that ever sailed the seas, period. Oh, he launched more torpedoes. We got to sink them fast. Quick. There you go. There you go. That was a good hit. I think we got him. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Yes. We're victorious! The toughest battleship to ever have sailed. We score all 50 points. As you can see, Kearsarge, we salute you. We score all 50 points and survive, even if just barely. <laughs> so hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, uh, I'm going to leave links to everybody's videos down in the, the description below so that you guys can check out how they decided to tackle this challenge. And if you like what I'm doing, punch a like button, leave a comment below, 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.